Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. In the past, I've done seven different tutorials on how to extract a dynamic list based on various types of criteria. And I'll put a link below that will take you to those seven different tutorials on my blog. But I recently received a request how to extract that dynamic list based on a phrase with a wildcard. So let's see how we can accomplish that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list in column H of various phrases with fruit in them. Apples, oranges, bananas, grapes, etc. So if, for example, we take a look at apple, you can see it is in various sections of each phrase. Here are just apple by itself, apple, orange, pear, apple, orange, where apple's the first word. Here's grape apple where it's the second word. And down at the bottom, red apple core, where apple is actually in the middle of the phrase. And I want to be able to extract from this list and populate in column J any item that contains whatever word I have up here. Now I have a data validation drop-down list here with various fruit that I'm just using the items in column F for my data validation list so I can change this to whatever I want. But let's leave it at Apple and see how we can extract those items based on what's in cell J1. So this is basically going to be an index formula, but I'm going to wrap it in if errors. So if there are any errors, it'll give me a blank. So I'm going to start out with typing equals if error and then the index function. Now my array and in the index function is this list here, and I'm going to lock that with F4 comma. Now my row number, I'm going to use the small and if functions to create the row number. Now, normally you would think, why don't we just use a wildcard here to determine if Apple is embedded or is part of any of those phrases? You'd think we could do something like, does this list, and I'm going to, again, I'm going to lock it, equal, and then a text string you need to put in quotes, asterisk, Apple asterisk end quote comma if so give me the row number for this list again I'll lock it as F4 close that close that again and now for my small function I need to use the K number the K number being is it the first smallest second smallest etc so I'm going to use the row function 1 colon 1 so as I copy that down, that'll change to 2, 3, 4, etc. Close that. Since my data started in cell H2, I'm going to subtract 1. If the data started, say, in cell H5, I'd have to subtract a 4, etc. I'm going to close that. And then for my if error function, comma, double quotes, so it'll give me a blank. Close my parentheses, control shift enter since it's an array formula, and I get a blank. I copy that down, and I get a bunch of blanks. And the reason is this portion right here. Excel does not work well with wildcards when they're immediately following the equal sign. It just doesn't work. So we're going to have to come up with another way of doing this. So for example, that H. 2 to H12 equals Apple, if I hit F9, I just get a series of falses. None of them work because, again, Excel doesn't recognize wildcards when they follow an equal sign. So we're going to have to come up with a way of a workaround or finding another way to accomplish this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And what we're going to do instead is use the isNumber function and the search function. And my search, I'm going to find text, what's in cell J1, F4, comma, within what text, this list here. Again, I'm going to lock that, close my search function, close my is number function. And again, this is an array formula, so I have to hit Control Shift Enter, and I get Apple. And I copy that down, and notice it provides me with a list of any of the items that contain the word apple. If I change this to orange, I get 
ones that contain the word orange, etc. Doesn't matter what I choose, it's going to give me that list. So let's walk through this and see how it works. I'm going to use apple and I'm going to choose apple grape. And that one is the one, two, three, four, fifth one in the list. As you can see, my K number for the small function is row five, five. So that's going to return the number five, the K number five, which is the fifth smallest in the list. So we're going to go to the formula tab, evaluate formula and walk through so you can see exactly how Excel is accomplishing what we want to do here. So the first thing it's going to do is look under the search function what is in cell J1. It's underlined there. I hit evaluate and it says that that's Apple. Now it's saying okay search Apple in H2 to H12. I hit evaluate and I get a 111 because it found Apple with, starting in the first character of the first one of the second one it was the first character, third one it was the first character. I got a value error, value error, value error because it couldn't find them in the next ones. It I found it as a seventh character here with grape apple and then at the very end it found it as the fifth character in the red apple core. And so now Excel is saying are those numbers? And I hit evaluate and I get a true or false. So I get trues where it was a number, false where I had the value error. Next it's going to evaluate row H2 to H12. I click that and it's just basically giving the row numbers 2 all the way through 12. Then Excel is saying if this is true give me the appropriate row number. I hit evaluate and I get 234 which is row 234 where there was the word apple and then falses row 8 9 where we had grape apple and apple grape and then row 12 where we had red apple core. And now it's saying okay for that small function with those numbers what is the in this case fifth smallest. So I have 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. So it should give me the number 9. I hit evaluate and I do get the number 9 but remember I don't want the ninth row I want the eighth row because I'm starting in row 2 here so that's why I subtracted 1. I hit evaluate and now we're down to an index function saying here's my array H2 to 12 give me the eighth item or the eighth row number in that array which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 apple grape. I hit evaluate I get apple grape is that an error? No so my if error function provides that and that's the answer apple grape. So that's how the process works. We're basically asking Excel search for that term. Is it a number? If so give me the row number and then using the small function give me the first, second, third, fourth, fifth smallest row number in that range and provide for that in the list. And that's how you can accomplish this in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Excelling.